Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor and welcome to another browser war. Now today it's a fight between Brave and Google Chrome. Brave is a new browser founded by the co-founder of Firefox and the creator of JavaScript. Now Brave's claim to fame is to be a faster, more secure, and more safe browser. And Brave accomplishes this by essentially a built-in browser plugin that blocks trackers, has HTTPS everywhere, and also blocks ads. The other signature feature of the Brave browser is Brave Payments. This is a way for you to support websites because you have your ad blocker disabled and still be able to financially give back to them. Now how this works is by using cryptocurrency. So you set the amount per month that you want to give. This can be in Brave's BAT or basic authorization token. You can also give Bitcoin and a couple other cryptocurrencies. But you set a budget and you connect it with your cryptocurrency wallet and that much every month is taken out of your wallet and dedicated towards this payment system. Now how it works is when you visit a website, the payment is given to that website based on the amount of time you spent there. So if you're gonna spend one Bitcoin a month, I know that's a stupid amount of money, but just go with me for simplicity, and you visit one site 75% of the time in that month, they would receive 0.75 Bitcoin. Now, this is a browser comparison, so enough explaining. Let's get right into the nitty gritty. I used Brave browser for one week. How does it compare to Google Chrome, which as you may or may not know, is the browser war champion as of now, and no browser has beat it. So starting with the first impressions, I had to reinstall Brave. I got it up and running, but it was weird. There was no shortcut and I could not find the program exe file. So that was a little hiccup. Once I got it reinstalled, everything was working fine. Some of the first things I noticed was that shifting tabs around is a nightmare. It's just glitchy and buggy and it's not smooth like any of the other browsers I've used. Hovering to preview a tab is a nice feature and I was pleasantly surprised to see that in Brave. Bookmarks have no favicon. This is one of my biggest annoyances about the browser that can very easily be fixed, and I'm almost sure that they will fix this soon, but it is just a pet peeve. I really enjoy having those favicons on the bookmarks bar in Chrome, and I'm not sure why that's not there in Brave. Now I like that private tabs are in the same window and not their own. This is something unique to Brave that I've never seen in another browser, and I really like it because it shows you everything that's open and you don't have multiple windows where you can forget to close a private window because you went back to the regular window. It is a very nice design in my opinion. Now when it comes to speed, Brave for desktop is just slower and glitchier to me. I had a lot of times, especially near startup, where I would open up Brave and it would just kind of lag along with starting. Sometimes it would freeze when other programs would be fine. So it definitely wasn't my computer. I could, you know, open the start menu, interact with other programs. In fact, sometimes I became so frustrated I ended up launching Chrome and using that for a while because Bray was just so slow. Now I'm gonna get into my rant I've had on my past two browser war videos, which is plugin selection. It is not good in Brave. However, I understand that this is a very new browser so I'm cutting it some slack. It supports LastPass, so for that reason I can get behind this browser and I can give it a shot because LastPass is like my number one most important plugin. The other ones I would consider a necessity, but I can still kind of see how this browser would work for other people. So up to this point in my experience, Brave browser was kind of a meh experience. If you ask me, it's worse than Firefox or Chrome. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the built-in ad blocker, but I really didn't see much of a speed improvement of using that built-in ad blocker versus the ad blocker plugins I've used for years in Firefox, Chrome, and Opera. But let's remember, what is the claim to fame for the Brave browser? Well, it's the Brave payments. So I tried to set this up and it was 
convoluted to say the least. Now as a disclaimer, I'm going to admit that I do not own any cryptocurrency. And so I'm not familiar with the process. So I assume that if you are in the cryptocurrency world or if you're slightly more nerdy than me, this would not be a problem for you. However, I'm looking at this from the average consumer here. I was not able to set up Brave Payments. I could not figure it out. Now here's what I tried. First of all, I looked up how do you buy basic authorization tokens. I was not able to find anything out. If you guys know, please let me know in a comment. I would really appreciate that. But I noticed you could use Bitcoin. So I thought, okay, Bitcoin can't be that hard to buy. It's all the rage now. So I created a Coinbase account. I tried to link my debit card. It was kicking it back. I tried to link my bank account. I got a call from my bank saying there was fraudulent activity, blah, 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 because Coinbase is a company based in the UK. I cleared everything up. I said, no, it's fine. I did this. I was able to verify my bank account and then it still wouldn't let me buy Bitcoin. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, if it's this hard for me to figure out as a tech enthusiast and a tech savvy person, the average consumer is not gonna go out of their way just to spend their own money to support others. It needs to be easy, and I wish, at least during the startup, they would just accept cold hard cash. I would have liked to see the ability where I could just say, hey, I wanna give $5 a month, put in my credit card or pay with PayPal and just be done with it. I like the concept of Brave Payments. I really do. It's just that if it's not easy to set up for the average consumer, I really don't know who Brave is for. I mean, maybe it's for tech enthusiasts who know how to buy cryptocurrency, but it just feels like they're missing something. Whoa, Editing Christian here, and I realized I forgot to mention the biggest benefit to the Brave browser, which is the mobile app. Now, when I test out these browsers and do these comparisons, I also try the mobile app for a week, and I gotta say, I've switched to Brave as my primary mobile browser. Now, Brave for both desktop and mobile is based on Chromium, which is the open source platform that Google Chrome uses. So the Brave browser for mobile makes total sense because it's exactly the same as Google Chrome, except with the added functionality of blocking trackers and blocking ads and HTTPS everywhere. Other than that, it's just as fast or faster, but just with no ads. It's basically like Google Chrome, but with a plugin. So I'm a huge fan there, and I would definitely recommend the Brave mobile browser. All right, back to the video. There's a browser plugin called Flatter for other browsers that is kind of what I'm saying. You pay them a monthly amount, and people who are signed up to use Flatter will receive money based on how long you spend on their site, and I like this because you can use any browser you're comfortable with. So in conclusion, I really cannot recommend Brave. It's not something like Firefox where it's decent, but it's for other people. I, I'm just, it's not there yet to me. Whereas Firefox and Opera are well-developed and they're fast and they do have their audiences, I don't think Brave is ready. So for now, I will personally be sticking to Google Chrome, but if you like the Brave browser, I'd like to know. Please leave a comment below and tell me why you make it your browser, or let me know what browser comparisons I should do next. And by the way, I am doing a podcast episode for small content creators about Brave, what it means for them, how you can sign up for it, and make sure you are going to receive that portion of the money if someone using Brave visits your site. So check that out at the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.